to Social Scientist Mary Donahue, and we've been talking about what it's like to have different generations in the workplace. Now, the last generation we haven't talked about is Gen Z. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so let's get into it. How are they different from the other generations? They're an amazing generation, just like every generation, but they're very different from all of us because they're the first generation born into technology. Mm. Yeah. This generation has grown up without a phone with a cord. So right. true. Yeah, they so have true. no idea what a house phone is for. It rings and they're like, oh, what is that? Yeah, where is that coming from? Oh, yeah, I funny. have no idea. No. But that means that, you know, I've talked about boomers processing information auto auditory, they, mm -hmm. one way. This generation processes information in two different ways. Uh -huh. They use YouTube. YouTube is their search engine. They're visual and kinesthetic. If you need to cook something, you YouTube it. If you need to do some homework, you YouTube it. There's always something going on, something to learn. And YouTube is actually fabulous for that reason. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you also know when they're processing information, it's much shorter because information is much shorter. Yeah, mm -hmm. We're like processing quick. information, you yeah. know, years ago it used to be seven seconds you had to make an impression on someone. Yeah. Now yeah. it's 1.4 seconds. 1.4. Wow. 1.4 oh, seconds. For seconds. Are we talking about in personal and in business? Every time. Every time. Wow. Every time with your brand. Because wow. it's such a visual generation. Yeah. And if you look at it now, we all base things on the visual. Mm. Yeah. So uh, you have the three fantastic tips to prep <laughs> Gen Z for success in the workplace. Absolutely, right? and I, I think that what Gen Z needs to realize, and millennials as well, in younger millennials, because we don't teach this anymore, mm -hmm. are three things. The first one is a phone is to be answered with the word hello. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, we have to say that. Do you know how crazy it is that you actually have to say that out loud? When the phone rings, pick it up and say, say hello. hello. So if I had my phone here and I called my 17-year-old daughter, she'd be like, what? Yeah, like, what's wrong with you? Are you dying? Yeah. <laughs> no, honey, but if I was, I wouldn't call you because you wouldn't pick it up. Right. <laughs> so what you need to realize is when you start looking for a job and all of you are starting to look for a job, when I call you as an employer, I expect to hear, hello. Mm. Yeah. And then carry on with the conversation, but listen and don't be typing because we hear that. Oh. We know when you're doing something else and if you're multitasking, that's disrespectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. wow. All right, so the next thing is email. Email is something we've used in business for 20 years. It's mm. not going away. Don't text me your resume. Oh. oh. Who here has you texted a resume? Uh, People anyone? are texting. Oh. <laughs> we have one brave soul. That's okay. Email is how businesses have communicated for 20 years. We're going to continue to use that because there's nothing else that's better. Yeah. So learn to use it. Email is a story. Mm -hmm. If you are emailing a boomer, you would say, dear, because that's what they're used to. That's respectful. Right. Mm -hmm. A millennial, you can say, hey, and be casual with. Yeah. But understand that each generation has a different preference for using technology. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I want to ask a Gen Z to fax me something. And they'd okay. be like, what? <laughs> they wouldn't know. Fax. Facts. It's a hip and cool. Oh my. Is, it, is it hip and cool? No, it's not. No. <laughs> and then I think we have last but not least is something we don't think about training. And I know we had teachers here earlier. Mm -hmm. We really have to start thinking about training as face-to-face -face communication. Yeah. Yeah. You know and what? That's, yeah, we can applaud that. Yeah. It's so um, important. Because you get sort of you hide behind the screen. Or, well, you, yeah, we all we're all doing it, but they are especially doing it with you just spend your time just on your phone, right? Yeah. So we have to transfer that knowledge a bit, and the older generation has to start teaching the younger generation how not to be so boastful. And let me give you an example: mm. when you're in an interview, when you're talking to someone, when you're trying to sell something. Don't use the word I in the first three minutes of your conversation. Mm. Oh, Good tip. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. no one cares. Yeah. They're yeah. interviewing you or talking to you to solve their problem. And if we look at what's happening right now in the world, it's I, 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 me, me, me. When you shift that conversation in face to face, mm -hmm you gain an audience, and mm. they will begin to be interested in you. Wow, That's wow. a good tip for everybody, though. You're I think we're kidding. all guilty of that. I think I've gone to interviews and I'm like, well, I can be the best person for the job. I think we all would do that. The next thing you say here is build emotional intelligence. What does that mean? Um, everybody right now is talking about coding. They're talking about technology. Yeah. They're talking about everything. OK, artificial intelligence is incredibly important. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But what's more important for you to understand is people.
Yeah. And EQ is understanding the emotional cues from someone. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're really seeing people struggling with now, how to understand humans. Yeah. So you have to begin to train and understand. And I would suggest you go back to the classics. And if you okay. look at Aristotle and you look at Shakespeare and you look at Socrates and how he created medicine, the one thing they have in common is understanding emotion. Wow, that's great information. Such great information. Yeah, for all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.